Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna do some reorganizing, painting, cleaning, and my favorite, some decorating. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm starting by organizing and putting away some puzzles and blankets I was air drying upstairs. This is our little bonus room that we decided to transition into a playroom for now and eventually have it be more of like a TV room as the kids get older. Plus the couch up here is so big and cozy, I just think this will be a perfect space for Hunter to play when she starts crawling. I used to think I had plenty of dreams of light in my life. My glass was half empty But you came along and showed me how to love We did a huge toy clear out last week and donated a bunch of toys that Miles wasn't playing with and now I'm moving the bigger items that we are keeping up here and just trying to get this space a little organized and set it up so it can hopefully stay that way. I always get questions on these three tiered baskets it's actually for produce i think but it works great for toy storage as well and i'll have it linked down below I found these two signs in our garage and I thought they would be perfect to put on the walls up here. I'm using my hang-o-matic to hang them. You guys, this thing is seriously amazing. It helps me hang things straight the very first try. I have a link for it down below if you are interested. I highly recommend it if you are constantly hanging things like I am. My life's an adventure Cause you came along and showed me Okay, I changed into painting clothes and now I'm cleaning our coffee table. Then I'll be sanding, priming, and painting it. I really wanted to get rid of this coffee table, but I decided at the last minute, maybe if I just gave it a fresh coat of paint, which matched my decor style, maybe I could make this work. So we will see. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been 
Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it To decorating my tiered tray. I wanted to make this really neutral and whenever I redecorate I collect a bunch of items that fit the color scheme and style that I'm going for and just play around with them to see what works and looks good together. I went by your house, what a big mistake. For a while I thought that I wouldn't break. I need something else to clear my head. Stop rolling the dice and just compromise It's the chance of your life tree that I just recently found. This little crock that it's in makes it perfect for a kitchen and I will have that link down below as well if you love it too. Nothing in life is good. 
We picked some wildflowers from the farm this weekend and I thought they would look so cute here on my dining room table. I'm switching out the copper bowl for a white one since I plan to add a lot of pops of yellow to my kitchen for summer here very soon and I just think the copper will kind of clash with all of that yellow and I'm still on the hunt for the KitchenAid hobnail mixing bowl but it just seems to be sold out everywhere. I am so bummed. I feel bad, but whenever my husband tries to help me unload the dishwasher, he just puts things in the wrong spot. And with this utensil holder, I'm very specific on which items I like out on the counter and which ones I like to keep in drawers. So he put the drawer utensils in the keep out utensil holder, and that's just going to drive me crazy. So I need to fix it real fast. Is anyone else this way, or am I just like super OCD? You took control. Now I'm gone, bye bye, bring the fire You took something beautiful and made it something cool That's all that I get from you You're so delusional, now watch me take control One of the questions I get all the time is how and where I store a lot of my like pottery, Ray Dunn items, and decor items, and I really don't have a good system in place, but my kitchen items that I'm constantly rotating around, I usually put in these front cabinets here, and I literally just try to stuff them in. There is no like method or anything. One of my upcoming videos is going to be like a on Mari clean and organize my entire kitchen. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that video because I really love watching those and I think that my kitchen would really benefit from just me taking everything out, deciding what brings me joy and trying to come up with a good system in here. vintage sign was starting to hang a little bit crooked. I think maybe somebody ran into it or something. So I'm whipping out my handy dandy hang matic again and I'm just fixing these. I have it hung with um, thumbtacks right now, which is kind of my go-to, but this vintage sign seems to be like a staple. It's one of my favorites and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So I'm probably going to have my husband come in with his drill gun and add real nails in here just so it stays a little bit more secure.
So it's probably pretty obvious, but I've been removing all of my decor with colors and just switching to a more neutral palette. I will be bringing out summer decor here soon and I'm gonna have a lot of yellows and things like that. My all-time favorite decor style is neutral, so I just wanna have my home be neutral for a couple weeks before I bring out all of the bright summer stuff, which I am really excited about. I found some really awesome pieces that I'm gonna be showing you in an upcoming video, but I just like to keep it neutral every now and then. So we're switching it up, having it be neutral for a while before I bring out all of the fun summer decor. it to you how can i compare thee when no one ever ever could come close look around but i can't see that is you i wanted to show you guys real quick this sign that i just got this is for my summertime decor can you guys guess what theme I'm going with? I just found this shop recently and I absolutely love it. I like this sign because it's made of canvas but it has a really strong back all throughout. A lot of canvases are only strong around the frame but they put a really heavy duty backing on here. So that's really nice, especially if you're going to store it. it makes it a little easier so it doesn't rip. But look at how cool this looks. It looks so like chippy and vintage and distressed. Organic Sweet Honey Bee Farms, and then it says Raw Honey Gifts Candy. So the shop that I got this from also will make custom signs. So I have one in the works that's coming, and I'm so excited. It has our last name in it. I will definitely show you guys. It's going to be really big, and I can't wait to show you where that one's going to go. But I wanted to show you this one because this is kind of like the theme I'm going for with my summer decor. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you are subscribed. And if you like this sign, I will leave the shop where I bought it from in the description box below. All right, guys. So it's quite a few hours later and this looks horrible. <laughs> like Miles paints pictures that look better than this table looks. Um, I've never been like the biggest fan of this coffee table, but I didn't want to do it this dirty. Like this looks bad. Um, it's just the primer on here though. So I'm hoping that when I put the actual paint on, it will look better, but I am horrified right now at what is happening here. Oh my gosh. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. All right, so this definitely calls for some TCO, true crime obsessed podcast, and some wine. I'm gonna whip out my paint and my paintbrush and see if I can save this hot mess of a coffee table. And just a fun little fact about painting, you can store your paintbrushes wrapped in tin foil in the refrigerator for a couple days if you are going to be painting with the same color so you don't have to wash it out every single time this has been such a lifesaver because i'm constantly doing projects and the worst part for me is cleaning all of the paint brushes so i figured i would pass this little tip along in case you guys didn't know this Brought a new horizon Opened up a door to something more Spun me round and you shook me Got me tainted to the core So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you For the longest time
when I close my eyes now Like I got your smile going on repeat You're the star of my movie But now it's done, still stuck in my seat And getting off easy Like I'm doing time, yeah, without parole Got me flirting with disaster But I'm all in, gotta go for gold So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do Okay, so I have the first coat of paint on and it looks a lot better than it did with just the primer, but I still, I think it's just such a big difference because it was so dark before. I don't know if I love it, but um, I'm probably going to do at least one more coat tomorrow and I'll show you guys later what this looks like styled and stuff. I think I'm going to move this to a different room and I finally have an area rug coming. It is way long overdue, but I figured Hunter is going to start crawling any time, so we really do need an area rug in here. So I will let you know how this turns out. My couches look so much more beige compared to this bright white. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't really know what I think, but... Maybe I'll like it more in another room. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I have a ton of summer decor content coming to my channel very soon. So make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. But you show me like this full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places. But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you There's no reason to Chasing payments